Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Kaz, and welcome back to Sword of Online Memory Defrag. Now, no, the guilds are not out yet. Not sure when that's coming out, but if you updated your Sword of Online Memory Defrag game, we have notices now for individual. We can see like who followed us and all, and that's pretty cool. But now I, I have a bunch of notifications going on, and we'll also get notifications for guilds. So that's pretty cool. Here we got like invite and apply probably for guilds when those are coming out i still don't know when that's coming out but today there is something new on sort of online memory defrag not too much but uh really the only new thing so first of all the floor clearing event no oh yeah by the way the equipment creation event for the one year anniversary ranking event that's the new thing we got but the thing is it's off camera I went back to the Castle Mirage, and as you can see here, I got every memory diamond in here. <laughs> so I redid 481 to 100, and I redid the last boss, and uh, I believe I got it in like two minutes and something. Two, yeah, two minutes something, and I was able to get an S rank. So now I got every memory diamond. I'm happy about that. So that's great. And I also grinded on everything so I can finish like every single reward. And that's what I did, and now I got Yui to level 95. I did every quest to get every VIP ticket that they gave us on the QT point event. And, uh, yeah, we got Yui to level 95. Couldn't make her to level 100, sadly, but better than nothing. So anyways, here we are, short video. Um, so we're just going to do the last one. So to get an S rank, you have to beat this in under a minute. Now, I did this with a group of people, and I was able to complete this in 33 seconds, but by myself, I got it to around, like, one or two minutes. Like, close, like, it's just a little bit above a minute, or if I'm just parrying and using the characters that I use, it's, like, just around a minute to two. So I'm just gonna go through this myself and show you guys, like, the parry moves that you can do when fighting this boss, and, uh, hopefully we can have a great time with this. <laughs> I'm not gonna aim for S rank. Um, S rank, I feel like, well, for me, I have to do it with, like, a group of people, even though, like, I have, like, all these level 100 characters. I'm pretty sure he's just normal attribute, right? Yeah, he's just normal attribute. So, I think it's more effective if you use another, um, normal attribute, like, OS characters, because they have, like, that, um, they have their skill, the skill slots, where you can increase your damage on normal enemies like this. So yeah, he starts off with a slash move, so I'm just gonna do that. So you can just jump that, then he parries here. That one's fast, so you have to like immediately parry that. And when he teleports, he just goes behind you, you can just jump that. And yeah, he just does the same moves. He, it's an easy boss. He fought this boss so many times. Um, like in pass or other events. Yeah, that's a fast move. You just have to recognize what he's gonna do, and you can do this easily. Like when he teleports, he's just gonna go behind you sometimes, or sometimes you go far. Um, if you see like a, a giant square in the bottom, you see that like he's turning himself around, that's a fast move, so just parry that. Like regardless of how fast you're gonna do it, just, 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 just parry it. Why not? Oh, my phone's dying here. Thanks. Thought I had more charge. Eh. Nope, he's gonna hit me there. But still. Well, that's pretty easy. That's what I mean. He, he like, sends things out. Yeah, just to that. I'm not sure when he does it. He does that randomly for me. Sometimes he gets annoyed. He puts the scythe in the air. That's when you gotta, you know, you gotta parry. So just take your time with that. And I don't know why. Sometimes there's a delay when he does that. Like, he waits a bit. This guy's, this guy's mean. He's like, I'm gonna troll you. No. I hate the troll. I guess that happens like after half HP or something. Like when he only has two bars left. I have a feeling you could probably carry that. But I'm probably not doing it right. Yeah. When I said like when I'm parrying, just straight off, I'd probably get like around a minute to two minutes. Just to use turrets right now. I have confidence that he's gonna do okay. Oh, or just kill it. It's between one and two minutes. But if I just spam like my rain and Leafa and just kept hitting regardless of parrying, maybe some parries, I can get it to like just a little bit above a minute. But with a group of people, uh, I was able to get it in 33 seconds or under a minute and that's how I was able to get the S rank. 
That's how you do the master for that boss. I mean, I guess I can go with a group of people and show you how you can do this. It's pretty much like the same moves. Just hope you rely on your partners that you can just spam your SS3 after parrying. And I'm sure you'll have a great time with this. Alright, so as we can see here, oh wow, that person has like the family. I have the two. But as we saw, in our party, someone has a stunner. And I'd say that's actually pretty good too. So you can just spam your SS3 and kill this thing a lot faster. When I first did this with the party, uh, we didn't have a stunner, so it might be faster if you have a stunner, but I'm not too sure about that. Yeah, we can always test it. You know, I don't care what you do there. Yeah, just, just do our thing. Everyone spam your SS3. Oh, okay. Get out of the way, you people! That Kirito's ballsy. Oh, nice. As you can see, you have so many moments. Oh no! Oh, I'm just assisting you either way. Hey, wow. We did that way faster than I had thought. 29 seconds. Okay, well, I guess you don't have to use the stunner to get it lower. Just use the lower. Hey, Kirtan Asuna, congrats indeed. Congrats. Oh, I couldn't press on time. So, yeah, just get a group of people. I'm sure it'll be fine to get this in S rank. This wasn't as hard. Like, I'm kind of getting used to, uh, to the ghost, ghost characters. Like, I remember before, I didn't like the, like, phantom characters. Before, I didn't like them. They're so annoying. Even, like, ranking events, you could see, like, people didn't even care about doing that ranking, ranking event. Like, I believe it was, like, the bride one. You could see, like, people didn't really care about doing it because they didn't like the boss. But we fought it so many times by now. I'm getting so used to it. <laughs> so, I have a feeling, like, Bam Bandai Namco... He's about to like send out another enemy that's gonna be worse than those enemies and we have to learn about that too but um yeah i guess that's pretty much it for this video short video um you get about 20 memory damage or something and also if you guys are not aware the last um alfheim online story has just come out and you pretty much fight sugo now i'm not gonna do a video on it because i just spammed my characters on it you can see other videos like, I think Ushi Gaming Channel did it, and like other people. But pretty much, um, the final boss, well, the, the legit actual final boss that you fight, it's still Sugo with the Excalibur, but he's he's really easy. Like, you could literally beat it with any character, and you'll be fine. But except for like l really low characters, I mean, like, I'm not sure if he hits, because I just kill him off immediately, because I, I don't like him. But you know, the legit boss. The first one here, it was it's actually pretty hard, and it's even worse on hard mode, but you know, able to do it, finish off every story now, Gun Gale, not sure when it'll come out, but I could see, well, I don't know, it took almost a full year for them to finish the ALO arc, so I'm not sure if we'll see Gun Gale online anytime soon, but we do see it coming, like, soon, because we haven't had a Gun Gale online banner yet either. So, you can expect to see that, you know, Trap Kirito, GG Osinon. And also, if you guys don't know, there's this new sort of online game that's coming out, like, early 2018. Sort of online Fatal Bullet or something like that. I've known about it before the trailer came out, because my friend showed me a link and then I saw the trailer there. I was like, oh my god, this game looks fun, because it's actually like a, like a third-person shooter. I'm not sure if you can go in first person, but it's like third person. But I'm actually excited for that game, and I'm deciding whether I want it to play on PC, or if I want to get it on PlayStation. Because the last time I got a game on PC, it was pretty laggy, and I wasn't having that much fun on it. But, then again, we can use the PlayStation 4 that I have, because I have a capture card for it. But the thing is, I'm pretty bad at aiming with a controller, like, but I do well with the PC, like a keyboard and mouse. So I may just get it for that, and hopefully I can run it like okay. And if not, then I can I can just try to get also the PlayStation 4 version and spend like what 120 bucks just for both games. That's that's terrible. That's bad use of money. But I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like to let me know you guys enjoyed this video and want to see some more. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn on notifications. <laughs> the little bell right after you subscribe to turn on notifications so you guys don't miss a video from this channel and also share around this video with your friends if you know they'll enjoy SEO like you 
And once you get 150 memory diamonds, I'm debating if I want to do another weapon scout to try and get Kirito's weapon, the plus one R4 weapon, or if I should just save like to 250 for the next ban. But I want to thank you all for watching. My name is Kaz. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys all again in the very next video. And goodbye.